Hello and welcome to Building the Gym episode 4 and if you are an absolute OG and you've watched all 3 episodes up to this point then drop the video a like and let me know if that's the case and if you have not, you're a weirdo, what are you doing? Why would you join a series in episode 4? That's nuts, it would be like watching the season finale of Tiger King, having not watched any of the episodes up to that point you'd have to be like an absolute serial killer to do that. So yeah, drop the video a like and if you are new to the channel please subscribe, I'm trying to hit 2 million subscribers, I'm not there yet, it's annoying, so yeah. Anyway, the end of last week's episode, the outside of the gym had just been clad and it looked sick and the inside of the gym had been plastered and was ready to be painted and so the following day we did just that. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People used to front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and now below. Keep it a buck, I don't fuck with these niggas. Always been one up on all of these niggas. They be trying to front for all of these bitches. But I ain't got time cause they all in they feelings. I saw the gang and we making a killing. It's 2020 and they notice the vision. You be the hero, I'm playing the villain. The underdogs and we walk in the villain. We getting money, yeah, they think that we dealing. They talking hot. So at this point we were ready for the actual colour. Now we debated this quite a lot, like the architect sent us loads of renders of the gym with all different colours in it so we could have a look. I knew I wanted something dark, I wanted that kind of moody look, but when we tried all black it just looked too dark. So we ended up settling on like a kind of dark grey, basically a colour that matches the aluminium on the outside. I think it's Rao 7021 for the, for the paint nerds out there. Um, and yeah, I decided to take a gamble, go all out, cover everything in it, here's what happened. Look, I'm trying to get where I'm going, but haters be trolling, that's why they fucked up. Thinking you got me, right where you want me, I tell a ghost just duck up. Sending them shots, we send them back, y'all niggas ain't really bout that. Real niggas always bounce back, need more hands just to count that. Stay on my bully, I need me more breeze just so we can get the team right. Loaded up fully, dogs on the leash and you be knowing that's a scary sight. That shit don't happen overnight, work smarter with some sacrifice. Sugar spice and everything nice, mix it up, now you gotta swipe. Be bridging the gap, they want us to rap, so fuck are we back? Hey, yeah, need a plaque, we turn to the max and we never lack. And yeah, well happy with how it turned out. It is definitely dark, but I think it looks sick and just like moody AF. And I'm gonna get some outrageous training videos and in Instapix in there. So exciting times. Anyway, whilst that paint was drying, the guys finished off a few bits on the outside. So they did the aluminium trim around the top of the gym that obviously ties in with the rest of the aluminium on it. Then they painted the inside of the gym the floor black to act as like a bit of a sealant. Because after we lay that gym matting down, what you don't want is dust coming up through the gaps when you're dropping weight on it. And then yesterday things started to get exciting because the electricians turned up to fit the lights and we put the doors and the windows in, baby! Champagne Perrier, finish friends on my face, looking like a front of D, D's no Cartier, pockets deep, 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 bro, I can make it in my seat, bro, do you and do a me, bro, make a noise, use a beat, bro, whoa, I press the button and the doors go off like, whoa, that money clip was not a new, now looks like, whoa, upgrade her diamonds, now her girlfriends are like, whoa, 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 whoa. neighborhood And that brings us up today and right now and have a look at this absolute beast of a gym. We can take a little wander inside through the doors. So yeah, like I said, it is like dark in here, but I think like I like it. I want it to go for that vibe. Like, so I can just picture those like squat PRs and deadlift PRs with this moody background, it's gonna be nuts. The lights look sick as well, well happy with those. Um, anyway, today is a big day because today we're getting the first delivery, the first shipment of gear from Bulldog. It's gonna be pretty intense. So we're getting all of the matting for the floor, we're getting the matting for the deadlift platform, we're getting all of the dumbbells up to 50 kilograms, I believe, and then we're getting the double cable pulley. Now I've emotionally blackmailed Will and Mario in to help me carry all the stuff because it's gonna come like right down there, the other end of the drive. We're gonna have to carry it like, I don't know, 40 meters down to the gym and with the dumbbells in particular they go from five to 50 in two and a half kilo increments so we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of kilograms of dumbbells so let's be honest that's gonna suck and then i imagine like 40 one meter squared gym mats probably aren't light either but despite that i am ridiculously excited so i'll catch up with you when things are underway Update, so the local courier slash delivery service did this really cool thing where they said the gym shop was going to turn up at half past 11. When it didn't turn up, I rung them up and said it was actually going to come at four. So, sick one, guys. Anyway, in the meantime, we were Mario building this like perimeter around the gym. So basically, you can see like obviously around the bottom, it's not finished at all, which is where we pull the decking up from what was there before. Um, now, we're not going to put in a long-term fix because basically, long-term, we're going to slab it, but like all these slabs going around the outside and down to the house, we're probably going to change when we do the house. So we need like a kind of short to medium term solution so like they're basically building this perimeter 
we're going to fill the perimeter with hardcore then put like a kind of white grey shingle on top of it so it goes up to the gym it should look clean it should look sick should give the gym that kind of floating vibe oh we also have two big mirrors i say big friggin massive mirrors being delivered at some point this afternoon they're going to basically span like this whole wall going along here right up into the deadlift platform they'll kind of go behind the dumbbell rack and they'll have a little bit of it where it's like full length so you get a sick shirtless awkward instagram pics and yeah it's meant to come at some point so it's now effectively a race between the gym stuff and the mirrors as to what's going to come first but in the meantime like i said the guys are going to crack on with that perimeter thing Game on, the stuff has arrived. Mario's asked, he requested specifically to be able to carry all the dumbbells by himself, so he's excited for that. We had an absolute result, and by result I mean literally worst case scenario. Basically, we're at the end of a drive. The lorry with the stuff couldn't get down the drive, so as well as the like 40 meter walk to the garden, we've got like a friggin' 100 meter walk down the drive to get probably about 600 kilograms of dumbbells and like 500 kilograms of gym mats to the garden. Sick! Oh, that was absolutely obscene. I'm sweating. I've literally lost half my body weight in sweat. Mario, you feeling good? Right. <laughs> that was absolutely ridiculous. That was like the most intense cardio crossfit session of all time. We've got the mats in. It looks like there's like more than enough. Um, let's find out. Never you learn, you pick and you choose. Then on my humble, I'm keeping the cool. Talking my money, then pull up a store. Follow your dreams, then go back to school. Well, still on my grind, taking my time. Stars aligning. We going hard, we came far. It's perfect timing. I hear so, we going on. We from the island. And we have a floor, and like it actually feels like a gym. Like this is friggin' nuts. They also fitted some of the skirting around there. They're gonna finish that up tomorrow. Will and Mario have absolutely smashed it. They've been absolute friggin' heroes. So massive thanks to those guys. On a side, note like I have never sweat this much in my entire life ironically we're having aircon fitted early next week like great timing oh and whilst they're fitting the skirting the mirrors turned up they're like two absolutely enormous acrylic mirrors like it was a massive ball getting into the house but yeah slowly but surely everything is coming together everything is falling into place now Will and Mario have gone or they're about to go I wanted to go home and lie down but before I can do that we have a slight problem that problem being approximately 550 kilograms of dumbbells I need to carry into the house cool And the dumbbells are in the house. And if I never carry a dumbbell or a gym mat ever again for the rest of my life, that's absolutely fine with me. I literally just killed myself to carry all of these dumbbells approximately 10 meters, so that's good. But I didn't want to leave them outside overnight. And I don't want to put them in the gym yet because I've got to clean the floor and stuff. And plus, we haven't got the dumbbell rack and I'm kind of tempted to leave them here. Or maybe just take a few down to the gym and wait until we get the dumbbell rack because I don't want you know, dumbbells all over the floor and it looking a bit messy, you know? Oh, and while I'm on the topic of dumbbells and equipment as a whole, all of the stuff I have here, all of the stuff that's going to be in the gym, and all the things I've been using for the last couple of months whilst lifting in the house are from Bulldog Gear. They are an amazing company. I honestly can't express it enough. Not only are they a really cool bunch of people, but their equipment is nuts. It is legit, second to none. I know not a lot of other athletes that use the stuff and swear by it. So if you are looking to kit out a home gym, or just pick up some miscellaneous bits to add to your collection whether it be dumbbells weighted vests racks like whatever it is honestly bulldog gear could not recommend them enough so there is a link in the description go and get involved pick up some things guarantee you will not regret it anyway i'm gonna go home cry have a shower because i friggin stink like you're fortunate that youtube hasn't got like a smell capacity because if it did you'd not be watching this video right now so yeah i will i'll uh, see you in the morning good morning to my gym! As if I have a gym, like, what is going on? This is ridiculous. I'm gonna do a weird lunge squat to get in the shop because my tripod sucks. Um, but a summary, it's been approximately two days since the last clip. I didn't film anything yesterday because I couldn't be asked, to be honest. Like, it turns out that building a gym, or at least helping build a gym, and then filming the building of the gym, and then editing the filming of the building of the gym is time consuming. I've been doing like 16 hour days a week and I'm just an absolute mess. Plus, like this video's already had about 400 edits of people doing stuff, so I figured we could just fast track it, you know, just like expedite the process and get to where we are now. And that point is at the inside of the gym is basically done. Like, this is nuts. I'm in love with this place already. I still have some more things. Board are gonna send out some more bits to me to completely finish the gym. But for now, I'll give you a quick tour of how we are looking. So in this corner here, we have a freestanding squat rack, uh, obviously with a barbell, the sickest bench in the world, and then 300 kilograms of plates. Now, 
That squat rack is going to be uh, replaced with a full squat rack fairly soon. Uh, those plates are going to be replaced with Bulldog's new hybrid plates when they come out. Over here we have a deadlift platform that me and Will built yesterday that was ridiculously satisfying. I might paint the bottom trim to make it blend in more, but I quite like it to be honest. Then we have a Texas deadlift bar, aka the best deadlift bar in the world by a mile. We then have an abundance of dumbbells. There are loads more in the house, but I didn't want to bring them all down because the dumbbell rack hasn't arrived yet. I don't want it to look messy. So I have five, no, 10 kilograms up to 50 kilograms in five kilo increments. That will suffice for now. In this corner here is going to be the double cable pulley that hasn't arrived yet. So when that comes, that will slot in there nicely. Oh, and you probably noticed the friggin' enormous gargantuan mirrors on the wall. That is like a four and a half meter span of mirrors. I think in hindsight, I made a mistake. They're acrylic mirrors. Now, acrylic mirrors are miles lighter, uh, easier to get hold of, cheaper. And yeah, they, you know, we could get them in like 48 hours. Because I'm just ridiculously impatient like a child, I wanted to get them in so I could fit them straight away. Um, it turns out that acrylic mirrors aren't the best. Unless they're unbelievably flat, you're going to get little kind of bumps in them. So, like from certain angles, you can see waves. It's not ideal. If, I mean, if it annoys me, I'll just change them for glass. But for now, I'm gonna leave them. I think it looks sick. It makes the gym look nice and airy and light. So yeah. anyway, that is the inside of the gym and not just the gym, my gym. As if, as if this is my gym. Like I know I keep saying it, I know it's super cheesy, but I'm honestly so grateful. This is ridiculous. Like it's been genuinely a life goal of mine to have a gym. Like I've legit wanted it for, I don't know, at least 10 years. So to have it now, not just have a gym, but have this gym, it's like better than I could have ever imagined. I just, yeah. I'm just very, very thankful. So all you guys that watch the videos, nice one. Like I genuinely, genuinely really appreciate it. Anyway, the plan for today is to finish off the outside of the gym once and for all. So I have a couple of guys coming down any minute now who are gonna fill in this channel here with hardcore. Then they're gonna top it off with a gray shingle to make it look nice and clean. They're gonna find a few slabs that match those. They're gonna lay them in that triangle there and that'll be the outside yeah. of the gym finished. Raising the Tobago's, we growing like fresh tomatoes. Them boys on fire, two fuego. We pass it round hot potato. Everything is new way. I'm with my sweetie like Quavo Need my cheese, need that queso Need my bread, need that bankroll Wake up, yes lord, I'm thankful Another day on my schedule Steady blocking the devil I tell a hater, God bless you Cherish moments that special You gotta keep the momento If you love me, then I love you And I and the outside of the gym is complete And have a look at that, mate It looks friggin' nuts I love the way the stone kind of contrasts with the aluminium Just frames the gym nicely It's absolutely ideal Slabs look decent too Just a friggin' outstanding standing outcome. Anyway, it would be rude of me bordering on offensive to film a build in the gym series and not train in the gym. So I'm gonna go inside, consume as much caffeine as I can physically get my hands on, then I'm gonna head back out and I'm gonna break in that deadlift platform. kilograms 640 pounds I believe which is the most I've deadlifted in like three years like since I was a powerlifter so well well happy with that definitely loads of things to work on but considering I've only been deadlifting for like five weeks that obviously bodes well I think given another I don't know a few months with this setup I reckon 700 plus pounds is definitely on the cards anyway that's a satisfying way to end this episode I was gonna say end this series but I think I'll probably do one more video like when the gym is completely finished, like a kind of full uh, gym tour type thing. But for now, we are done. So I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this one. Guys, if you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.